Hello guys and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your time capsule as a wireless backup and even set up your time machine backups to back up to that internal source if you want or an external source. So now that we've got our time capsule plugged in and it's on, we're going to go do some pretty straightforward setup. So we're going to click on our finder and then we're going to go to applications. Then we're going to go to utilities folder at the bottom. And then we're going to click on airport utility. All right. So now from here, we're already in our airport utility. If we wanted to make changes, um, we just click on the time capsule that we want to change and then click edit. Um, see my base station. This is going to be used just as a base station. I'm not ready to use it as a router. And then you see the internet connection, no wireless connection, that's what it's connected to now. And it's got that, it automatically remembers your Wi Fi password um, that you typed in, so there's not much you even had to do there. Now, under your disks, um, if here, like if you wanted to wipe the disk or erase the disk or change the name of it, you could do that as well. Um, so, let me, I'm just, there's nothing on this disk that I care about, so I'm just going to click on erase disk. And then I'm just going to call it the creation. Station one terabyte, the creation station one terabyte. And I'm just going to do a quick erase. And it's just letting you know that this process can't be undone. And this way, it'll allow you to kind of customize it to your settings. So you've had this and it's got just the default time capsule. That way, when you click on that file folder within your time capsule, once it's connected, you'll see that unique name for that device's storage inside. So right now you can see here that the time capsule is flashing amber again, and it did, it, while it's doing that erase, it didn't take long, we did the quick format. There's, like I said, it was already empty, I just wanted to show you how to, to complete that process. So now when we click on it and we click edit, and we go to our disks, that disk has that unique name, the creation station one terabyte. And that way I know that that's that unique disk to help me find it. When I set up my time machine backup, it's set up with that unique distinction. All right, so now we can go ahead and cancel this. Close this. Now, now let's go ahead and set this disk up as our time machine backup. All right, so, so we're gonna close and set up our time machine. We're gonna go to our system preferences, click on time machine, and then we're gonna click on select disk. Right now, it was starting to use that second, the creation station second or two terabyte drive, which is not what I want. I want to use the creation station one terabyte and then click use disk. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to back up to use the creation station two ter uh, two two D or the one terabyte? So I'm going to click replace the creation station to TD. Now it's going to ask you to put in that password to access that device. So we're just going to type that in, then we're going to hit connect. And that's that password that we just initially set up on that device. And now you can see it's going to be using that creation station one terabyte time capsule to do my time machine backups and it's going to back up automatically. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and close that utility. All right, so hopefully that helps answer your questions on how to set up your time capsule and set it up as your time machine backup source to keep your computers running 100% or to have those devices set up for you. If you ever have any issues, you have all your data backed up safe and securely. And now when you click on your finder, you can see we'll have those two devices here, the two terabyte and then the one terabyte time machine. And then now here we can access the data with files and folders. And now if we wanted, this is where that time machine backup is gonna start to stay right now that it's doing. But if you wanted to, you could do like I did on my second, on this one, the creation station two terabyte. Um, and I created folders with different documents, movies, and using that to save specific data so that I don't have to go through my time machine backup uh, to get to that information. All right, so hopefully that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you. But hopefully you've got everything set up now and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.